you know, everything is a process with um, a lot of people involved, a lot of candidates being um, interviewed. And um, luckily, you know, Carlos felt a good connection with myself, past relationship through the World Baseball Classic stuff since 2006. That's we were in the same bracket twice in 2009 and well as well in Puerto Rico as I coached the Dutch team. And then he was traded to us in 2011 for the last uh, couple of months of the season. So we struck up a good relationship since then. You know, it definitely played a role, I believe, in um, who he chose to be sending next to him for the next season. So it's a very good team. It's a team that was uh, three games out of the playoffs last uh, season. And also, you know, if you look at it, you know, we only lost seven more games than the team that won the World Series in the National. So they were close. And I think they have uh, room to grow. Uh, Robinson Cano, I played with his dad, Jose, some 34 or 5 years ago, uh, 33 years ago in, in La Romana, Dominican Republic. And Robbie was uh, a bad boy at that point. So we've wow. I've known Robbie for the last 30 some years. We always cross paths and talk about uh, the old days. You know, I'm excited to be able to work with him. We have a long standing relationship. You know, I still, <clears throat> I still think he's got something left in the tank. He's got to get over some of the injury stuff. You know, get used to the National League. Usually, the second year around is better for the those guys. You know, we got the um, reigning Cy Young winner, the Grom. I like to, you know, dig into that that uh, wealth of uh, talent, see how he, how he operates. And also, you know, we got the, the Rookie of the Year and, and P. Alonso, powerful guy. And, and I should say, I'm ready to meet all the guys. I think in the next few weeks, Carlos will hand me the list of phone numbers so I can connect with them to via the phone before we get to spring training.